Hello everyone. Now today we are going to have a discussion on this multidisciplinary minor in project automation in unit 2 which includes project components and its workflow. As you can see in the uh, slide, the what are the various content of this unit 2 which includes what are the various types of projects, work breakdown structure of the project, then we will be moving our attention to what are the various ways by which project cost is going to get computed, then what do you mean by value stream which is very important part while deciding the automation strategy. That is why value stream is very important. But as you can see the types of projects, work breakdown structure, calculation, the project cost, everything will be a part of deciding the automation strategy for a particular project. That is why this unit is dedicated to understand the components of project, how you will be de deciding the cost aspect, deciding the value stream and based on that you will be deciding the automation strategy which will be a part of your unit 3. Okay? So, we will move ahead with this particular content for this unit 2 can see in this particular slide the types of projects which basically are the projects from the construction industry and uh, most of you are from civil and civil environmental background you need to understand what are the various types of projects and under which projects I am going to work. Okay? So, first the category of project needs to be defined as you can see the types of projects which includes residential building, commercial, recreational building. Recreational means it may be any type of theatres, drama theatres, multiplexes, then whatever sports facility all things will be a part of a recreational facility. Then industrial buildings, public buildings, data centres, IT centres everything will be a part of your type of building projects. Then moving attention to the infrastructure project includes highways, major roads, bridges, railways, metro rails, airports, tunnels means waterway supply, wastewater treatment, power plants, transmission systems, docks and harbours. From this particular thing you will in just understand the ways under which the automation can be implied to all these projects. Okay? So, for that our atten attention has to be given to the type uh, the categorization of the project and based on its need from as we can see uh, that the customer requirements are going to vary based on the type of project that is why the categorization is important then the customer identification the stakeholder involvement everything has to be seen in that way accordingly you will be in a better position to decide the automation strategy for that type of a project. So, you have to be very clear about the wonder what for which project or for which services or the product development we are working and accordingly we will be going ahead to work on that other aspects of automation which includes components of projects. Yes, it is very important thing to understand the components of projects for understanding it in a better way I have just given you an explanation of a building projects. Basically, a building projects will be considered physically as a part of substructure and superstructure. Okay, these are physical components of a project that needs to be first seen. So, you can see over here in this particular display, the broad category of project physical infrastructure for a building is being considered as substructure and superstructure. Substructure may be included with foundations, basements, retaining walls, underground services, everything will be a substructure part. Again, you can divide these foundations into some internal components also based on the designers uh, requirement that is been given to you. Uh, for management aspects. The importance of components of a project is like we have to identify in what stage or the what for what components we are going to or for what activities we are going to have automation strategy for our projects. So, every understanding each and every component of any type of a project is important as we have seen there are infrastructure projects also apart from building projects where the list of components will be vary. So, we will be having some activities on those aspects also where as a student you have to identify various components of all the infrastructure projects that, that you need to learn and accordingly an automation strategy has to be decided for a particular set of activities. Then moving our attention to the next part which is a work breakdown structure as I have seen I already seen that we have divided the project into its project component. Work breakdown structure in a construction is a hierarchical way of organizing a building projects means how the project is going to get worked on by dividing the project activities into sub components which may be again subdivided into some 
detail components in the later stages. So, this detail components division into various levels is considered to be the work breakdown structure. Hierarchy is very important over here whenever you see a work breakdown structure. So, identifying components that will be followed by considering its work breakdown structure for further work for automation strategy. As it has been written over here also, the WBS is a single document that divides the project deliverables into manageable activities. A very important word over here is a manageable activities which are going to be considered to be under work packages. So, these work packages will be allotted to all the resources that we, are, we have identified at the early stage of project identification. So, work packages will be defined at the work uh, project what definition and resource management tab and in work packages we will be assigning some resources or contractors or vendors to supply their product and services at the work packages. So, creating a WBS structure is very important before we go into the details of automation. That is why all these uh, key keywords which are part of project management like work breakdown structure, then project management plan, resource management are very important whenever you go for an automation part on the next level of execution. We will see now what are the various uh, examples of this work breakdown structure like you can see over here there is a single family house how it has been divided like you can see on this first level of this work breakdown structure there is a planning and action is happening then there you can see there is a substructure there may be an envelope the envelope includes the envelope includes walls and roofing system then there might be inclusion of some finishes and finishes carpentry or some interior works then that will be followed by the utilities and the systems okay so all these can be considered to be the first level of division of the single family home again the planning and action is going to get divided into design and architectural drawings then it may be a rendering part then it will be converted into drawings then it will be again converted into some specification and then some licensing needs to be done from the local authorities like municipal corporation all will be a part of your planning and action again you can again subdivide these planning uh, activities into some detailed drawings and detailed activities so that you will have better control and you can in a position you will be in a position to identify the automation which is required at various stages as you can see in case of permits and licensing already automation has there I means there are some softwares available from which these uh, permits and checking of the drawings is possible for municipal corporation or town planning authority okay now moving toward the substructure also there might be some foundation excavation and footing activities are there Okay. So, for those activities also we can divide that into some uh, like there might be some uh, steel procurement activity may be there like there may be some uh, steel uh, cutting activity may be there then steel binding activity shattering activity may be there then concrete pouring activity is there all these can be a part of your uh, subdivision of all these third second level of activities. So, this is an example from which you can understand what do we mean by work breakdown structure for single family home. Then another example is construction of a house which is internal here it has been divided into some different ways like there is an internal uh, work then there is a foundation then there is an external building finishes which are there. Okay. Also here you can see apart from the definition or the description of the work there has been an additional thing which has been mentioned in this presentation is amount of work that has been completed and the, what is the budget involved for that particular level of work breakdown structure. So, in this way we can minutely think of the automation which will helping to curtail down with some budgetary requirements as well as the time that is going to get uh, spent on executing of that particular building component. So, accordingly we have to define, we are move slowly moving towards the automation to understand how a work breakdown structure can be uh, represented so that work uh, automation strategy can be easily identified and its benefit can be realized at the various levels of the project. You can here also another project is there, it is a market research project, so you can just go through it 
the you can see over here also initiation phase planning phase is there then there is an execution phase and close out phase again the series has been subdivided into the various levels which includes requirements and gathering of analysis then charter development and everything we will discuss this into detail when we are going to have some online offline discussions on these uh, detail uh, activities within this market research project another example of uh, work breakdown structure is waste and water treatment plant then there might be a equalization basin there may be pump station which may be a control building and general construction the major importance and significance has to be given to identifying the building components or the project components and how they are hierarchically arranged into the sequence of operation that needs to be uh, executed so that the project delivery will happen so we have moved from the basics of projects where we have seen the various life cycle of a project then what are the various stakeholders involved after stakeholder involvement we have also seen resource management what are how to identify the resources the quality of resource the quantity of resource that needs to be done and then we have moved our attention to this particular part where we have seen what do you mean by work breakdown structure before that what we have seen is the building components or project components so project components its type components and work breakdown structure these are very important so this is about the project cost we are going to have this discussion in detail in the next session just to give you a glimpse of what is the head we have to also identify various material cost labor cost and expense cost that we will be seeing in the next session so thank you for today we will meet in the next session with project cost and the other analysis analysis that can be possible on the cost so that automation can be very important part which uh, cost is very important for for deciding the automation strategy so thank you for today we'll meet in the next session